Hello and welcome. My name is Fred Kusumoto. For the past year, I have worked with a dedicated group of volunteers who worked hard to put together the best education and newest research for presentation at scientific sessions in San Diego. Unfortunately, scientific sessions had to be canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. For this reason, over the past month, my role has pivoted to help develop a new program called HRS 2020 Science. HRS 2020 Science is a fully virtual and online educational program. However, it shares the same goals as scientific sessions, an opportunity for us to share best practices and ideas, a way for us to collaborate, and to learn about the newest technologies and techniques to help us provide the best management for our patients with arrhythmias. The educational content of HRS 2020 Science will be delivered in three releases, one now in May, a second in June, and a third in July. This extended release period was intentional by design. I am hopeful that this will then allow for dialogue and discussion about the educational material. You are probably watching this on HRS TV. I encourage you to go to HRS 365 and log on. HRS 365 is the educational platform that has been in place for the last year. For first-time users, log on might be slightly cumbersome, but know that you will be richly rewarded with access to the full depth and breadth of HRS 2020 Science. In fact, this first release of HRS 2020 Science is free to all. In fact, if you were to go there now, you would see the abstracts and presentations that were accepted for presentation at scientific sessions. Here though, we can leverage the technology to then provide a better experience. So instead of the simple text, or perhaps if you're able to go to the poster itself, maybe a minute or two to peruse the poster or uh, discuss the issues with the presenter, you will now have the opportunity not only to see the poster or presentation, but also listen to an audio file put together by the presenter. In addition, and most importantly, you will be able to contact the presenter and start a dialogue about the data and the information. And you will be able to do this at your leisure and at your choice. In addition to the abstracts, this Friday and Saturday, HRS 2020 Science will release the late-breaking clinical trials. This year, there will be 20 trials uh, that will be presented in four separate sessions. Again, technology helps us here. Instead of simply having the presentation alone, you will have access to the presentation, but also perspectives from a hawk and a dove will provide an opposing perspectives on the application and the use of the data in clinical medicine. In addition, on HRS 2020 Science, you will be able to ask questions electronically to the presenters. In addition to the late-breaking clinical trials, we have put together the video cases. These video cases will allow you to see new techniques and new technologies. In addition, HRS 2020 Science features fireside chats. In fireside chats, we have informal discussion amongst thought leaders about two important topics that we face in cardiology and electrophysiology, the application of digital medicine in electrophysiology, and how best to do atrial fibrillation ablation. These fireside chats and the late-breaking clinical trials illustrate the theme of HRS 2020 Science. How do you take the newest data, the newest information and research, and then apply that and translate that to the clinical bedside? You will see these themes in the June and July releases where there will be original research and also fireside chats and true presentations on clinical material. This year at Scientific Sessions, I was planning on challenging each of you who attended to find a new colleague to get a new contact before you left. I make a similar challenge to you now. Go to HRS 2020 Science on HRS 365 and collaborate with someone. Start a dialogue. It is together that we are at our best. For truly, 
Together, we are HRS. Thank you for your time.